Hey everybody, it's Timothy Luke talking about Gnome Sequencer Enhanced 1.1.5. So, I've spent a week, I've rewritten the sequence translator, it's gone from 20 meg to 800k, um, and all of the behind the scenes stuff that's drove me nuts and frustrated me, um, you're not going to care about, you're not going to worry about, it's done, all languages are supported, that's Korean, Chinese... Um, I don't know which dialect of Chinese, it's whatever the in-game version of it is. Um, Russian, English, obviously, French, Spanish, Portuguese. If there's a language in-game and it's available on the WoW API, it's there, it's done, it's in. So there may be a couple of things that didn't translate properly, and I'll talk about them in a few seconds, but the things that really matter, I'm going to go up front and first. So I've had a couple of people ask, in the old GNOME sequencer room, when you do a cast sequence macro... How do you get the icon to a change and adjust um, as you're doing stuff? So if I walk across to my um, dungeon training manual and I turn around and hit my button, it's just doing the weird stuff and it, it doesn't change, it hasn't updated, it hasn't done bits. So if you go change name and icon and you change it to this question mark at the beginning, um, I've probably hit the wrong sequence. I want that one, change name and icon. No, I've done the right one. Am I hitting the right macro? Is probably a better question. This one, change name, but I can't. It should be that one. Okay. Ah, oh, so I'm in combat. <coughs> do, 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 do. Walk out of combat. Alright, now if I go change name and icon, I'll change it to this, just to change it to something, and then change it to that. Right, I've now got my Hammer of the Righteous, and as I hit this, you'll see it change. So it's basically, as I'm cycling through, it's updating to the ability that I'm about to use. Obviously, some of these are on cooldown, and some of them aren't. But that's literally the way it's behaving. Um, I do also get questions about what am I, what's my interface. Um, I was using Real ID, uh, Real UI for my last video. I'm back to using Elv, because this just works the way I'm used to, and it's behaving. But the other change that actually matters for people is, so this default icon question mark, that's a function that'll be there in the next version, but if you click that button, what it'll do is when you create a macro, it'll create them as the icon. So if I turn that on, return to game, macro, I'm just going to delete my stuff. So just deleting these prop ones. Exit that. Form, it's brought them up, and they've got that I, that question mark icon. So if I drag this DB Pally prot single target one down, go to the dummy. It's updating with whatever the spell is next. That's that stuff. All right. So the other stuff that's in here is it's all in the interface. It's all in the um, this bit. People have asked, how do I tell what add-ons I'm running, what parts of GNOME Sequence are installed? So they'll actually pop up in here. So I've got the Sequence Translator, I've got Dark Rams macros, the Sequence Translator, as opposed to the Editor, I've got the My Macros mod, I've got the High Performance macros, and I've got my Drake's Bundle stuff. So this will always tell you what it knows about. So if it's anything that's GSE related, it'll appear there. These are the last four options. First ring, second ring, first trinket, second trinket. So... If I turn on first and second ring, so what will happen is, I don't know how many times you've seen boilerplate that's gone, um, return to game, right, so I don't know how many times you've seen boilerplate that's gone in a sequence that's got, you know, use combat 13, use combat 14, use combat 11, use combat 12, so what these used to be was like, use that button, that's 11, that's 12, that's 13, that's 14, so... People have gone, how do I turn this off in a macro? How do I turn it on? How do I add... I don't want to use my rings. I don't want to use my trinkets. I want to use that trink, but not that one. And I want to control this one, and I want to do that. And especially with the legendary ring, you, know, you didn't want to put it in a macro when you're on a raid because people wanted to use it at specific times, and blah, 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 blah. So, interface, use first ring, second ring, first trinket, second trinket. So you can do a combination of these. So, if I bring my character back up, 
Oh, it's not going to let me because I've got the I got the interface window open. Anyway, so I got first ring. So I'm going to set this so that both of these should go off when I run up to the target dummy. Actually, I'll turn the ring on and I'll turn the trinkets off. So what should happen? Du, 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 du. Walk up and go smack, smack. All right. See, my ring's gone off, but my trinket hasn't. So I've still got control of it. So. This Paladin macro I'm using at the moment is a new one by uh, submitted by user LPNV. Thank you so much for the stuff you're throwing through. It's awesome. Um, it's alright. I had a complete metal blank. Um, second, so this time... Yeah, I'll wait, wait for the cool end to disappear, but what should happen is my trinket stuff should go off, but my ring won't. And you can control it down. So first ring, second ring... So this would be your know, use combat 11, use combat 12, use combat 13, use combat 14. All right, what's the cooldown on this? A minute, six seconds. Now that's going to drive you nuts for more than a minute. So what do people do when you turn around and actually waiting around for stuff? So, um. Sleepy Bear has gone, hey there, just wanted to say thank you for the nice work. Awesome news. Okay, so what you'll notice from this is I can't spell. Um, that's why I use a computer. But yeah. Uh, so okay that cooldown is 20 seconds so that should be close enough so what should happen is that when this comes off cooldown this shouldn't actually activate or impact so as I'm going through I can hold it down we've seen the trinkets gone off because within the post macro straight away it's another 13 seconds of spamming a target dummy 6 5 Right, so what should happen? So the ring hasn't gone off. It's just literally been completely ignored and not being paid attention to at all. Oops, so out of combat. And just to prove that there's no smoke and mirrors, as soon as this starts in 24 seconds time, both of these should go off. I, I know this is rather boring stuff, but people have been asking, oh, I want to control this, I don't want to control that, I want to make it all work and behave together, so... That's all of that stuff. So 10 seconds. So, yep, the ring's gone off, and the trinket should go off in 5, 4, 3, 2... Boom, and it did. So that's that stuff. Now, there's a whole bunch of stuff with the sequence translator. This is not generally... The, I'm not mentioning this for, for everybody's sake. This is for people that are writing their own add-on packs and bits and pieces like that. Um... I've created, I've, the text of this macro will turn up on, it's, it's on Wow Lazy Macros where I'm talking about this. I've created this macro that's gone, run GSTR report unfound spells. So this is basically going to say, I've got the translator, it's loaded in, I want to see if I'm actually using an ability that's not going to translate properly. Um, this is useful for if you want to check spelling of um, your, your, your macro. So for things like... Um, holy word chastise. There's holy word a colon a space and the word chastise. Um, sometimes you know, if you get that wrong, sometimes it'll just skip the ability because it doesn't tra the game itself doesn't translate holy word ch the two holy word chastises. There's a major ability called ice, f ice flows. Um, one of the macros had it spelt F-L-O-W-S because flow, flow. Um, it's actually, it wasn't firing because the ability is F-L-O-E-S. So, what this macro will do, and it's sitting on Whale Lazy Macros, um, you put that to a button, it'll basically take all of your sequences and translate them to Spanish. Now, what it'll also do is it'll turn around and create this list of what are all the ones I don't know, and populate them and, and work them through. So, this is one of those ones that after you do this, you do have to reload your UI because then it'll put all your spells back to English. But at the moment, you turn around and run this, you run this once, you get the list, you turn around and take it away, and you go, ah, what have I done wrong? So, click the button. It brings up this window. You need to go Control-A, Control-C, and then go out to your text editor and Control-V. 
and you'll end up with something that, you know, in my particular case, it comes up as 13, 14, 13, 14, and Divine Steed, because I left that out of the translating list just to prove it. So if I go paste in my WoW window, just so that I don't have to go anywhere else, close the... Um, so it's, it's just said, you know, 13 and Divine Steed. Um, so it's literally a case of, yeah, this will populate and spit out any untranslated strings so that you can use them to basically track through what have I got a word wrong? Have I missed something out of the, um, yeah, have I as in me, Drake, Timothy, Luke mixed a spell out of the words? So the sequence said, the sequence translator, the first cut of it was 20 meg because it was 6 meg per language. So there was a total of 215,000 strings that I'd translated. Um, of those, there was about 2,000 of player abilities, but I didn't know which 2,000 out of the 200,000 it was. The first cut got that down to 84,000. I've now got a process that's brought that down to around about 2,000. So that's why it's dropped from 20 meg to 800k. Um, much more reasonable, much more manageable, and that 800k is every language as opposed to the four that were just included in the first cut. So there is the potential that I may have missed an ability that's in a macro. So I'll be running this thing, you know, every couple of days I'll grab whatever macros I can find, I'll grab the ones that are on Curse, like the macro packs like Dark Rams and um, here are Yakamura's Druid ones, and I'll just run this over the, the macro packs that are out there, and if there's any that, I, that start popping up as missing, I'll add them to the list and I'll update the translator. So apart from that, that's it for 1.1.5. So 1.2 will be the next release, which will pro at the rate I'm going will be about a week's time. And I'll be looking at um, a couple of quality of life things like the, deep, the you know, you've got 120 macros, error message popping up, the sequence editor in combat. Um, the, the bits that have been hanging around and they're just bits that have been get to. Um, I'm also looking at actually colorizing the content of the translator. So what I mean by that is that when you load a sequence, um, it just loads up as one color. It's basically putting some color coding in so that abilities are one color. These things, these conditionals are another color, just for some easy to read stuff. And then also give you the ability to edit the colors that are used inside the mod. So that's going to take me a bit of time to do, but that's literally what I'm looking at next for 1.2. Anyway, have a great day, may you kill stuff, may you get loots, and may those loots be the ones you want, not the ones that somebody else needs, and we'll see you later on.